Uh, hi everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. Uh, this week I'm taking a look at a really old game, Scarab of Ra. I've literally never heard of it. Um, so, as you can see, it's a very, very, like, immensely simplistic, like, labyrinth game, I guess. Oh, cool. The door slowly creaks open and slams shut behind you. It's a very simplistic um, maze game, I suppose. About um, just being in a maze, I guess. Uh, it only has uh, two colors. White and black. Oh, an ounce of food. Nice. And it is technically a roguelike. I'm not even sure if technically is the right term. This is a roguelike. Bug spray, dart gun, interesting. Skeleton key that appears rusty, yet has a hidden shimmer when held just right. Cool. Oh, the crown of raw, nice. So Scarab of Raw, as you can see here, is just real fucking old. It's 87 and released in 88. Um, It's set in a, you know, Egyptian pyramid. Oh, anti-poison. Nice. And it's an extremely efficient use of the Mac, I would say. Yeah. Um, the Mac, notoriously not an amazing gaming platform. Didn't get another key, did I? No, I didn't. But yeah, the Mac is not in, you know, here it is, astounding gaming platform. You feel the floor shift down. Wave of water rushes over you. Your map is soaked and unreadable. Hmm, well. Is this the door I wanted? Doesn't look like it. I gotta say, first-person dungeon exploration has never been a forte of mine. Oh, nice. I got oil. Seven pints. Pints, huh? Oh, and two pints of oil. And a ten-foot pole. Perfect! For your D&D &D quest adventures, you feel the floor shift down. Map gets soaked. Yippee skip. 88 ounces of gold. Wow. And two ounces of food. Okay. So yeah, it's very simplistic. I may not even play the entire, like, normal amount that I normally would play. Use the lamp. Okay, use the oil. Use the lamp. Nice. Wow, it, it, it's just blowing out my eyes now. Um, my hunger is pretty high, so I guess I'll use food. Oh, yeah, look at that. Neat. Now I can freely explore. Pick up. Feel the floor shift down. Ow, I've been hit by poisonous darts. Oh, good. I have something for this. Use that. Hell yeah. Oh, wait. Whoops. Key. See, it's really just... Oh. <coughs> nice kitty. Push it down. Map's unreadable. Light the lamp back up. All right. You found a sleeping lioness. I guess I can't pick her up then, huh? And four ounces of food. Oh, I woke up the lioness. <laughs> uh, do I have anything for that? 
No, it doesn't look like it. Can I put it on the crown of raw? It seems too heavy to put it on, and it slips awkwardly off to the side. I noticed that um, a little bee on a jar is in the uh, food pile, which I guess makes sense, because um, honey found in Egyptian tombs is actually still good. The modern oil cans with um, oil written in English on them are a little more suspect. Oh, we have darts. Yeah, look at that. The bread is a little weird, but honey is actually good basically forever. I don't know if... Yeah. It'll spoil, but if the lid stays on and you don't get any water... Yeah, it's only the water that does it. And then honey can also crystallize, but that just requires a little process of heating it up. A sleeping bat. Not to be confused with a sleeping bag. Bad mistake to make. Wow, big hallway. I've burned all my oil out. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. Your experience, does that show up? Oh, it does. Good. Your experience has, show, has gained you an associate's degree in archaeology. Man, I'm going to go run around a tomb. Apparently that you just get an associate's degree for doing that. Backbreaking work has uh, made your back stronger and your metabolism as well. Keep it up. So I guess now uh, my food's worth more food per food. Yeah, nice. Dried fruit and honey and bread. See, so yeah, it's just a very simplistic roguelike. Oh, it's a monkey. Monkeys are in Egypt, right? I'm sure they are. Anti-poison and a 10-foot pole. Nice. Did the Egyptians have locks? This, this might just be an odd question to ask, but uh, I didn't know that they had locks in Egypt. Oh, fuck. I've been poisoned again. I'll tell you what certainly doesn't go bad. Ancient Egyptian poison. Never goes bad, and it never goes out of style. I'm stuck. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, I have a map, right? Oh, I do. Okay. Ah, uh, I was expecting it to be like a doom. Where you can control yourself on the map. There's that monkey. Oh, I, I don't have a dart gun. Tranquilizer dart designed to put mammals to sleep. It must be fired from a dart gun. You have two darts left. How about that 10-foot pole, then? Uh, as you poke the tile in front of you, a spear comes shooting out of a hidden hole and instantly... Look at that! Sleeping monkey. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's historically accurate. Bank of raw gold deposit. Can I use it? No. Let's fill this up. Bank of raw, huh? Well, it's nice to know that 10 foot poles are still as useful as they would be. Feel around the walls, but no keyhole. What? Oh. Fuck. Poison. Drink more of that. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'll be the first to admit that I'm definitely lost. Oh. Just the smell of this stuff is too much to take. Oh, I'm hungry, right. I notice my score is going up whenever I uh, 
eat food. That's how it works in real life. I should eat more often. Just kidding. I'll die of a heart attack. Nice. So how about the map now? Yeah, apparently the map gets bigger, I think. I'm looking here. Uh, yeah. So the first one's 3x3, three three, the next one's 4x4, four four, etc. Pyramids, you see, get larger as you go. It's thanks to the uh, nature of the triangle when expressed in three dimensions. Of course, a pyramid isn't a triangular prism like a D4 is. It's a different thing. A pyramid is its own shape. One dart in that pile of three darts. The monkey stole your... You motherfucker. I don't have a dart gun. Why didn't I bring one? Can I pull him? No. This monkey's just hassling me. You better hope I don't find a dart gun. Your days will be over, mister. Look, I've got four darts and no gun to put them in. <laughs> the poisonous cobra has bitten you. Well, then I should be fine, right? See, poison... Oh, fuck. It bit me again. I'll just take it. Who cares? Stop biting me, asshole. Let's use a uh, first aid kit. Oh, nice. Anyway, cobras aren't poisonous. They're venomous. Yeah, I'll just go on. Oops. And now I will unpoison myself. Oops. First aid kit back up to full. And then I may as well just feed myself. Nice. Cat's going bananas over there. It's not too hard. There's not much in the way of combat. And what little there is is pretty handily handled by our protagonist. Wow, a shitload of money. I guess I might have wanted to... Oh, a spider. Ancient Egyptian spider. I guess I can leave the oil considering I don't have a lamp. Oh. <laughs> This is, uh, this is a classic example of uh, your loot tables not exactly being calibrated properly. Oh, I'm edging further and further to the limit. Bank of raw gold deposit. So if I select gold and drop it... A scorpion stung me. Okay. Yeah, it's a little esoteric, I suppose. Just kind of weird to think about. Ouch, a scorpion stung me. Boy, that stings. Oh, and I'm poisoned. Jeez, I can't win with these scorpions. For the uninitiated, I was born in Arizona, and I had to fight a scorpion every day of my life. Until I moved, of course. That should go without saying. Want to go to the fridge and get a snack? Scorpion. Go find a plate in the cupboard? Scorpion. Tad bit itchy. Now I'm double poisoned, I guess? Shit. Can I go down and get your laundry from the basement? You wouldn't believe the scorpions that like to live in clean clothes. They're like house centipedes, only less friendly. Oh, more gold, yeah. Oh, here's the key. Give me that. In fact, I've been poisoned by so many scorpions, they should just give me an associate's degree, since apparently that's how it works. I like how...
how this door appears to not have a keyhole, but only on the side that I left it. Oh, I've dotted my wounds. <laughs> no, I had an associate's degree. <laughs> you have died in the Great Pyramid of Ra. You're laid to rest with your associates and your 3,718 prestige points. Perish in the eighth level, holding 14 ounces of food, a can containing 10 pints of oil, crown of Ra, a first aid kit, 10 foot poles, four 10 foot poles, 13 darts. A bunch of gold and a rusty key. Well, damn. Hey, and we're back. I'm going to play a little more of this because it actually is pretty fun. Very simple, but nothing wrong with a very simple game. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, I actually spawned right on top of the key. But I guess when you're only guaranteed a few things in a map... And you have three by three to... Yeah, look at that. You're pretty sure that you're going to find... You're going to find the uh, key and the... Oh, an ancient scarab. Oh, the scarab of Ra? Wow. Roll credits. No, I'll actually, uh, I'll keep playing. Old rusty key and some food. Don't mind if I do. So I'm guessing that the uh, goal is to find the Scarab of Raw. So I should I go home or, or what? I've got the key. Nice, another key. Kind of interesting that um. They, your methods of attack are bug spray and dart gun. Um, allegedly, the developer of the game didn't really like violence. And so bug spray for use on bugs is, you know, they're just bugs. And then... Oh. Let's use this. And then the tranquilizer dart for the, you know, mammals is because, you know, don't want to kill mammals. Um, I'm guessing that I'm not going to get out of here without seeing a mummy. Just based on what I know about uh, what people think Egypt is. Yeah, because apparently Egypt is like... Egypt and mummies are like Arizona and scorpions. Like, you want to go to the dry cleaners or go see a movie with your pals? Mummy. And everything's a pyramid in Egypt, too, obviously. And it still looks like... God, I don't know. Like it looks like in The Mummy, I guess. Three ounces of gold and four ounces of gold. Wow! A horrible shock pulsed through my body. What? What happened? Did I trigger an ancient Egyptian bear trap? I guess I'll stock up. Hmm. Don't seem to have... Am I missing it? Dart, scarab, rock, bug spray. I don't have a first aid spray. Uh, oh yeah, I can read this. A small ancient artifact. This amulet appears to be a dung beetle surrounded by an amber-colored amber -colored substance. Though it's nearly... 4,000 years old. It strangely looks like it's resting rather than dead. That's... Well, hi! Um, we found him. Is this a... Is this a mummy or a humanoid version of a topographical map of Utah? You hear a low moan echo through the walls. Oh. Well, there's your problem. The wrappings of the mummy hold incredible healing powers. Your health is restored. You found mummy wrappings. Nice. Well, that'd be a lesson to any uh, tourist heading to Egypt. Just carry a big old scarab with you. I'm sure 4,000-year-old scarabs are also pretty commonplace in Egypt, right? I've seen The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser. Now, I noticed that I've killed a mummy, and yet I haven't got my associate's de degree yet. I haven't poked by a spear. Fuck. 
Well, let's eat some bread. Some 10,000-year-old ancient Egyptian bread. Oh, congratulations. Now I've got it. Now I've got my associate's degree. More lamp oil. Nope. Bombs. Lamp oil. Only if you have enough scarabs. You guys ever play, um... God, what's it called? It's like Ron the Cursed Mummy or something. It's like a Zelda clone that's like actually kind of imaginative. Oh, more food. Nice. I wonder if dried fruit's any good. Oh, there we go. First aid kit. Like, remember the golden age of uh, Egyptology when people were just like breaking into tombs and grinding mummies into food and shit? Which is a real thing, by the way. Bitumen, also known as asphalt, primarily uh, located via um, mummies. They would uh, just grind up mummies and pave roads with them. That's not a joke. That's a real thing. A lot of people don't know about that one. Um, lots of people do know about uh, mummia, the uh, paint. It's a specific type of brown paint made out of uh, mummy carcasses, of course, because in Egypt they were like, oh, yeah, we got a bunch of these. Let's just grind up the bodies of dead kings. And, like, I'm not saying it wasn't expensive, but, like, they still sold it. Shout out to the British Museum. The British Museum really exemplifies one of the, like, founding... What ideologies of Britain, I would say? Of just stealing shit from native peoples. I love that. This is amazing. I want to see if I can actually find it. There's this ancient picture of... Yeah, this guy. The mummy salesman. Just this bored fucking dude on his 9 to 5 selling the corpses of ancient dead god kings. Like, look at this guy. He doesn't give a fuck. He's just there in his loose-fitting shirt. It's like, hey, I got some mummies. You guys want some? This is one of my favorite um, historical pictures. I just, I, I love that... Um, that was in such a time frame that we could actually take a photograph of it. Like, I love that samurai are in a specific amount of time that, like, you're hungry, you better eat. Oh, right, shit. I love that um, samurai are actually in a specific area of time where you could photograph a samurai. Like, I don't think there's any photographs of, like, a pirate. I think the golden age of piracy was before photography's true invention here we go yeah there's a few pictures of cowboys and samurais who are the same thing separated by a common continent ocean maybe ah hello again mr mummy one moment, let me get the scarab of Ra for you. Shaboom. A low moan echoes through the wall. And then he just gets me with all that shit. Hell yeah, mummy. I was going to ask, why do British people? But then I realized I didn't really have to finish that sentence. Why do British people anything? Hell yeah. If I get a dart gun, it's over for you, hose. Well, the mammalian hose in here. It was already uh, over for you, undead hose. Oh, a 10 foot pole. Uh, let's eat some food then. Uh, yeah. Oh, I actually have to drop something? Okay, I'll drop one of these. I'll drop two. I'll drop three, in fact. I probably only need so many 10-foot poles, right? Oh, I woke up with a bat. Shit, I'm sorry. A bat's fluttering around my head. I'll light the lamp. Oh, 
Maybe the light will scare him away. Bats aren't necessarily afraid of light. Hell yeah, rest a key. I don't know why the key has to be rusty. Actually, can we talk about how there's like wooden doors in this ancient Egyptian temple? Am I even in Egypt? I mean, I would guess based on the, the mummies walking around, but like I said, they just sold those. Maybe I'm in Vegas. That would make sense, actually. That would be a logical end of this adventure if it turns out I'm just in Vegas. Oh, fuck. You know, I've got so many 10-foot poles and I can't be bothered to use them. Honestly. Okay, let's, uh... Let's munch and crunch. That's a uh, first aid kit. Fuck. All right. I guess I'm dropping more 10 foot poles. I better get my bachelor soon or else I'm going to be over encumbered again. Such an odd sentence to utter. The idea that your carry weight in life is related to your level of education. Oh, God, have I gone in circles? No, I haven't. Hell yeah. Let's fill that up. Key in the lock. Nice. More oil. All right. I'm definitely over encumbered. Let's drop some gold. Oh, that, that sure cleared me up. Ah, I know what to do here. Ten foot pole. Oh, wait. It says ten foot wooden pole possibly left behind by the workers while building the pyramid. Am I in Nicolas Cage's pyramid? Okay, can I use the gold? Congratulations. More and more discoveries and experience have granted you a bachelor's degree in archaeology. Not only are you more physically fit, but the hieroglyphics and clues left behind are starting to make more sense. Wow. Let's see if I can go grab the rest of that gold. You know how the um, symbol for use it? Hell yeah. You know the symbol for uh, salt is NA? That's because... Uh, oh, I've already been here. The reason that uh, the symbol for salt is NA is because... That's actually from the old Egyptian word for salt. They called it natron. Or possibly natron. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'll be right with you. Scare, there you go. Scare bara. Floor shift down. Damn. But yeah, they used, uh, they used the term, the Egyptian term for the periodic table of elements. And that's why salt says N-A. It's from the Egyptian Natron. Of course, in Egyptian, you know, the language that is Egyptian, they didn't spell it with a vowel. It was just Natron. But yeah, that was what they called the substance that they used to preserve shit. And I don't know if you know, but uh, salt is very good at preserving shit. Excellent at drying things out. Kind of it's like niche, I would say. I want to find the first National Bank of Raw, and I can't believe that that's a thing I have to say in like a serious context. So how old is this game? When does the original Rogue come out? Rogue-like video games. Jam and Earl is a roguelike? Okay, hold on. Let's 
actually Rogue Original. 1980. Okay. So this is 88. Wow. I love my gaming Mac. Of course, Mac users today can actually render a bit, you know, a bit nicer of, fuck. A bit nicer of games than this. They can actually render three colors. Instead of just two. I'm kidding. I don't actually give a shit if you use Mac or PC. I actually prefer consoles to Mac or PC. See, while well, trying to look for the... Oh, that's oh, fine. I'll take it. Guess I'll have to slug all this heavy-ass gold around. Jeez. Hashtag suffering from success. Oh, I'm so over-encumbered. Let's eat some more food. Um, let's oil up. Either, oil, either the oil is just so light. Yep. All right. Hmm. Yeah, either the oil is just so light or... It's just really, really heavy gold. I mean, gold is kind of notorious for being heavy. Gold's primary use is actually as a weight. That's a joke. Its primary use is, I believe, semiconductors or setting the value of other currencies. Wow. Zigzagging, huh? I'm over encumbered again. Damn. All right. Let's eat some food. Let's first some aid. Really? Still no, huh? Sorry, gold. Not today, though. God. I can't win here. You know, I feel like I could throw a dart if I had to. Also, a dart gun is... Isn't it just like a can of air, basically? Whoa. I found the Staff of Raw. And I'm over encumbered. What does the Staff of Raw do? Tall staff made of gold, silver, and gems. Symbol of the hawk on the top. The sun on its eye. Eye of the hawk sparkles magnificently, pulling any eyes, pulling in any eyes that gaze at it. Deep ruby red eyes of the serpent warn you this staff may hold a secret, deadly power. As you fiddle with the ancient artifact, the eyes of the serpent start to glow, and a sound of a distant hiss can be heard. A sudden burst of wind swirls all around you. Spill some oil out of your lamp. Well, damn. I walk? Nope. All right, let's drop some more gold, I guess. For some unflappable reason, I've got the uh, theme song to Clifford stuck in my head. Clifford the Big Red Dog, you see. Oh, here we go. Get that the hell out of my inventory. I've earned a master's degree. Hell yeah. Now I guess I should go pick up all the gold I left behind, huh? Alright, cool. It's gonna be a nightmare to edit this, you know, because I, uh... Oh. Oh, it's a cobra. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a nightmare to edit this. Shit, fuck. Sorry, bat. Bat's fluttering on my head. That's not annoying at all. Probably going to be very, very annoying to edit this because it all looks very similar. Oil, hell yeah. A single ounce of gold. What am I, poor? Excuse me, Miss Sleeping Lioness. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot. Why am I so dumb? It's because I'm impatient, of course. The lioness has mauled me. Oh, no. I hate it when that happens. Excuse me, Miss Lioness. Be out of your way in just a moment. Got so many darts and yet know where to put them. Will you please fuck off, Cobra? All right, now hopefully there's another first bank of raw around here somewhere. This game's actually pretty solid. I enjoy it not just because of it. Oh, for God. Not just because it's like a game that like I like or anything, but I actually wrote a D&D &D adventure similar to this at one point. Nope, still too heavy. All right, time to throw some gold away. No half measures. The boldest measures are the safest. This is known. I wish the map was a little more intuitive. And I know that like not every game can be Doom. But I do wish that you could move while looking at the map. I'm just so used to the... Wait, hold on. Also, it is really, really difficult to tell everything apart. Hell yeah. Spear trap defused. Is my map still legible? No, yeah, it is. All right, cool. Like, I don't know how they would do it, but I would love if these ma if this maze of twisty passages all alike were made in some way recognizable or different. Just because, God, it is really kind of difficult to... God. All right, let's throw some more gold out. I feel like I'm playing Demon Souls. God's sake. My impatience will be the death of me. A scorpion has stung me. Boy, that stings. More anti-poison. I thought I... Can, can you pick up the scorpion or something? That'd be kind of funny. Be like my first friend back in Arizona. Followed shortly by my second friend, which was a cactus. Oh, for God's sakes. See, a problem that I did feel a little bit sometimes in the first Rogue. Oh, I've got a PhD in archaeology. Discover the deep secrets behind these ancient artifacts. And are now respected by all of your peers if you can make it out to tell them. Still over encumbered, though. Excuse me, Mr. Poisonous Cobra. Or Mrs., I won't judge. And somehow I'm a philosophical doctor again. Is that what PhD actually stands for? I'm kind of impressed. Let's just blitz through this. I've got 30 pints of oil. I should be going blind from this thing. Scorpion, will you fuck off? I don't want to play Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, sir. Just kidding. Maybe I will. I had a good time playing Injustice, so maybe, in fact, I will play Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. I wonder if I'll ever play Oregon Trail for the show, actually. I played uh, a game similar to it. I think it should come out before this, but Overland? Made by the same people who made Night in the Woods. 
And of course, having nothing to do with Night in the Woods, even a style. Oh God, I've gotten myself lost. Okay, so I'm here. At least it does show me the little dot so I can orient myself and figure out what the hell I'm you know, supposed to be doing or where I'm supposed to be going. The monkey stole my food. All of it? Oh my god. And a scorpion stung me. You found a monkey carrying 71 ounces of food. The monkey just stole my gold. Oh god. And the monkey stole my lamp. Alright. Guess Mr. PhD is going to die down here. Hey, more gold. Is there no way to recover your lamp? Excuse me, Linus. Oh dear, I'm poisoned. I uh, I didn't notice. Luckily, I uh, got 31 treatments left of uh, antitoxin. That's that good old Egyptian healthcare going for you. See, in Egypt, the copay is really low, but you do have to fight a mummy. <laughs> you know, I'm glad that I... Uh, oh, fuck, I got mauled by a lion. I'm glad that I find my joke that mummies are ubiquitous in Egypt. Funny, that is. Not that I, you know, just find it. Oh, first bank of Ra. You know, I haven't seen that mummy in a little bit. I'm starting to get worried about him. Oh, rusty key. Oh, and there was a trap door on it. Damn. What is that monkey going to do with 5,000 pounds of gold exactly? Is he going to invest it? <gasps> Dart gun. Fuck yeah. Oh, your time is up. Lionesses. Gonna bag me a cougar. Wait. I don't need a dart gun to bag a cougar, and I definitely shouldn't have one with me. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Mummy. I was just worried about you, actually. Uh, let's whip out that scarab -a -ra. Continuous research has allowed you to refine the translations written on any wall you've seen thus far. You speak the words and they echo in the halls you stand in. With a burst, the beetle comes to life and disappears momentarily around the nearest corner. It comes back to life to you and takes its amulet shape once more. A moan echoes through the wall. Wowzers. Oh, what about the staff? Can I do anything new with that? Uh, you grasp the staff and the warm feeling your hands felt before makes you feel connected. With a thrust on the ground, the eye of the hawk begins to sparkle. One more thrust, and a light shines up bright as the sun, lighting the halls around you brighter than your lamp. Oh, fuck yeah! Now all I need is food, which I have. Nice. Dude, I'm like the best archaeologist. What's the rank after PhD? Because I'm gunning for it. Book the town in front of you, Fwop. A dozen darts come out of the wall and pepper holes into your pole. It's now too brittle to be useful. Well, luckily for me, they left me another pole. Oh, nothing. Cool. Oh, key. Wowzers. All right. Let's crunch some more food down. Pop this key in this hole. So does this go on forever? I mean, not saying that it, you know, can't have an end. Oh, this motherfucker doesn't know what he's about to get. You hit the monkey. It drops 31 ounces of food and falls the fuck asleep. It stole my staff of raw? What are you going to do with that, dude? Okay, now it stole my food again. Okay. All right, 
let's eat this food before it wakes up. You know, I, I've call me crazy. You know, I've never used a real tranquilizer dart myself, besides one I made in my backyard. But I've never known something to get hit with a tranquilizer dart and then to just wake right up afterwards. It's not exactly what they're designed for, you see. Specifically, when you tranquilize something, it's knocked the fuck out for a couple of hours. Oh, I woke it up. Sold my food again. All right, we have now defeated the monkey. Oh, rusty key, nice. See, I hate it whenever I can't fill time with my speaking because it just means that I'm going to have to edit more out. Now, actually, do I need this oil? I guess I don't since I have the Staff of Raw now, right? Yeah, so I wrote a D&D &D adventure like this. It was like this, but way stupider. Of course, it was stupid on purpose, so I did, in fact, succeed in what I was going for. Oh, boy. Oh, brother. See, the map getting bigger isn't necessarily more difficult. It just... It makes the game longer, you know? A longer game isn't necessarily a more difficult one. Sometimes it can be, you know? Like, sometimes Dark Souls boss fights are made harder by the boss having more health than a boss of that level or type usually would and now the difficulty of the boss comes from not just its you know superior strength and stuff but also it's uh like how tough it is and so now you have to like survive the boss for longer so you can make less mistakes because there's so much more to do in the boss to the boss, even. And, like, with every, you know... I missed. Well, probably because I shot at nothing. And with every, you know, new thing in this... Oh, found some more darts. Wow. I'm basically like the Moses of Egypt. Hit the lioness. She's looking quite sleepy. Nice. Pull back up. Oh, I woke her up. Oh, she mauled me. Oh, you. Back to sleep. That'll happen to you, mister. Talking to my cat there. Alright. And then let's hit you with the scarab raw. And it's just, yeah, let's get that guy. I feel like I should be getting to the end now, just because it's gone on so long. And healing bandages. You know, maybe this is just me, but I wouldn't know the uh, bandages of a mummy to be healing. You know, they they preserve the dead, but that's not exactly how it works. Where is this going? Oh, boy. Well, one of these should be the door, right? I'm guessing that thanks to the construction of this nightmare, you can't uh, do that thing where you hug the left wall or some shit. Construction meaning random, random labyrinth. Oh, for God. So where the hell am I going? Have I hit the bottom floor?
You play until you collect the three relics, huh? And I'm uh, missing the... Hmm. Missing the uh, crown of Ra, huh? All right. Well, I guess I'll keep looking for it. Actually, you know what? I don't have to die to end the episode. Uh, this is a pretty good roguelike. Very simple. Not a lot of... Um, gameplay options but it really doesn't need them it has a very very classical feel um it feels like a dnd &D adventure and it feels like the original rogue even though it's not a dnd &D game it just feels so adventure-y you know um i have found all three treasures separately and so while this isn't the first roguelike i've actually beaten on camera this is the first one where i've met the victory conditions so i'll take that as a victory besides i've got a phd in archaeology so yeah uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. Thanks for coming by.